Hi, hello, and welcome to your online tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about um, how to wrap a spiral perm. Now the first thing that I want to talk about when we're talking about spiral perms is you do have two different sizes of perm rods. And for a spiral perm, it's going to be for someone that has longer hair, just like mine. So you're going to want to use the longer rods. So make sure as you're wrapping, you don't want to do the little ones. You want to use the big ones. Okay, before you get started, um, I do want to point out one more time that you have your little pack of perm, perm rods or perm paper and papers, and um, you can use the you know tail of your comb to just kind of spread them out. You can hang on to a little corner, and it'll start to separate the the end papers as you twist your comb around. That'll make it a little bit easier for you to get, um, you see how they fan out? It'll make it a little easier as you need to grab your end papers. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start it. I, when you're doing a spiral perm, you wanna start at the bottom. Also know that the spiral perm is also called a candlestick perm. Uh, so it's gonna sit up like a candlestick. I went in and subdivided my hair. As you can tell, there's no, um, I didn't do a whole lot of sectioning. I just kind of subsectioned and took out um, about the width of my comb for my subsection. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take nice little vertical subsections uh, and I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take my end paper. I'm gonna go long ways and do the single flat wrap. At the uh, have that paper just uh, fold in half there, long ways. I'm going to start with my spiral, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my. And you can see where my band is. I'm gonna start all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to pull that hair all the way through till the ends go through the end paper. Remember, you always want to make sure you get that um, the ends through the end paper. Now, as that get, the, as the ends get through, I'm going to start wrapping the hair. So I'm going to start wrapping the hair, and as I wrap it, I'll start spiraling up. I'll start spiraling up. Okay. So one more time, I'm going to go ahead and just twist that up. Now as I go, you can see that I'm just creating that nice little spiral as I work my way to that root area. I'm going to take my band and I'm gonna wrap it on the side that has, uh, the that I went against from. Give me one second, let me get that in there. There you go. And it's going to just kind of hang there. You wanna make sure that your band doesn't have any twist and you're gonna twist that band closest to the base and that way it'll stay nice and uh, not move around too much or drag. Okay, so one more time, I'm gonna take that section, take my end paper, go do the single flat wrap. So I'm gonna fold that in half. I like to spray my my water, my ends with a, a little water just to help hold it. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna start at the bottom. See where my band is? I'm gonna bring that all the way out until my ends go through the end paper. And then I'll start wrapping that. I'm just gonna tuck the ends in. And then once it's nice and secure, so I'll wrap it around a couple of times on the ends. And then I'll start bringing that up as I twist. See that? So I'm kind of dropping it as I wrap that up. Okay, this is a good technique that you can use on someone with longer hair. So you're gonna clip that on top. Now remember, you wanna take the ends or the band and you wanna push it close to that base. Okay, so you see how my base is on this side. I'm wrapping it this way. I'm wrapping it with clockwise. Well, I'm wrapping it to the left. Okay, so what I could do if I wanted to give uh, um, my, my, my client some texture is my next section I would go the opposite way. So I'm going to finish this section up and then I'll show you what I mean in a minute. 